Hey guys, good morning. Um, I slept really late because I didn't really sleep. I slept, I finally fell asleep, but like I stayed awake all day, but just in a zombie state. And then when I did finally fall asleep, it was like 4 a.m. So I slept till like 11 and I'm okay today. I'm still really achy, but I'm getting stuff done as I need to, taking it easy so that tonight we can at least take like a 30 minute walk. Ralph and Amber over there, they're watching dogs on the inside. Is it interesting? Getting more comfortable. Can't get Amber. Oh, she's so little on that big pillow, but she's watching it too. <laughs> so silly. Or, oh, that's nice. And they're kind of, then just back off a little bit. You always get the same thing, too. It's like, if you say, oh, you know, trying to raise money for a dog rescue, there's like, what really speaks to them and focus on that. Otherwise, you're just spread way too thinly. He's so into this. This has allowed me to help humans and animals. You know, maybe 25 years from now, there's not really a need for us anymore. Ralphie. Ralphie, did you get rescued? Did you and Burber get rescued? He's like, shit, I didn't go to a jail though. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm going to do some sewing. I'm going to sew these scarves I got from Dollar Tree two together and make an infinity scarf. So I thought it would be kind of cool to show you guys. Um, so... It's really basic, and when I ask videos you guys want, I still have them lined up. Um, because all the stuff I'm going out with the house, I haven't got started on a lot of the craft ones because I've been trying to like paint and stuff. But um, as I'm not able to do as much stuff because of my fibro and like the fall changes and stuff, I'm gonna start doing those videos for you because it's easier on my fibro to sit down and do a craft than it is to paint or do home improvement stuff. So I haven't forgotten about that. Specifically, um, I believe it was Lynn, Lynn K that asked for a like basic sewing tutorial. If not forgotten about that, I actually am waiting to get the new couches because I'm gonna redo the pillows and I'm gonna make a new pillow for each couch that kind of goes in the middle of the couch because it comes with four pillows each sofa and then I'm gonna make a fifth pillow and that's kind of I'm like I figured like a pillow is the easiest it's the first thing I ever learned to sew it's kind of like the easiest thing to sew um, like a basic throw pillow so that was gonna be my um, sewing basics by no means am I a professional I am not even that great with patterns it's just basic sewing that I can do although I am looking at some of the college courses um, I looked at like Joann's and stuff but I'd rather take like college courses where you have more hours um, when I have time um, so I'm just gonna sew the two ends together and I'll kind of show you guys what I'm doing okay guys so what I did um, was I turn these kind of to what would be the back side and you can tell it's the back side because of the stitching um, this is the back side of the scarf so before I did that though I sewed two ends together and the reason I did that is because these are Dollar Tree scarves they are not all the same they're not all measured perfectly and one was shorter or one was shorter the other was longer whichever it was um, so I sewed this in together so when I pull it like this and run the seam down even if one is shorter I'll end up sewing it without having stuff hanging off the edge, if that makes sense. Because if I had just pulled it straight down, then I would have had one that was like sticking out like this. I am not great with this stuff, you guys. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I wanted to kind of explain why I did that. So when it's all sewn in one piece, there won't be something sticking out. And I'll show you guys once it's done. So you guys see what I mean? If I hadn't kind of like pinched the fabric together, this would have been like a random edge coming out this way it just kind of looks like you know it's not perfect but I think it would look nicer than this big square edge hanging off the side but 
this material on these scarves is very cheap. Obviously, it's a Dollar Tree. Um, as you can see, my oh, maybe you can't see. See how easily like it rips. Eh, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to do the other side and then I'll show you it on, I guess. Okay, so as you guys can see, it is now a big ass infinity scarf. Um, the Dollar Tree scarves are great. I'm really sad. I have one Halloween one and I was happy, hoping they would have it again this year um, so that I could sew them together. But so far, the ones they put out don't match. But as you can see, it makes a nice big infinity scarf and you might even be able to use it as like a breastfeeding scarf it's so big i'll put it on in a second but i just wanted to show you guys I'm really terrible at knowing how to do scarves that's the reason i don't wear them that much that in my large breasts i usually only wear them during the winter um but i went and put a sports bra on <laughs> to try to figure out how to make this look better or easier because if you have big boobs your scarf just looks like this most of the time so basically just makes a nice little infinity you could probably put the I don't know the proper way to fucking put a scarf on to be honest I really don't know um but I think it makes a nice scarf um I honestly think not that I know a damn thing about breastfeeding myself personally but I know a lot of people that do, and I worked in a nursery, so I've seen the moms do it a lot. Um, is I think, like, if you just wanted, like, during the summer, like, just a little discretion, you know, just a little boob coverage. But these scarves are so thin, I think you could, I don't know, they make, like, breastfeeding infinity scarves. But I think you could easily cover your boobage and the head of the baby if you wanted to not that you have to i'm just thinking you're breastfeeding public if you want your titty out there girl put your titty out there that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying some people don't feel comfortable doing that but they don't want those big hot things draping them so i think like this would be a cool breastfeeding scarf again i have no problem with somebody popping their whole boob out i have no problem with it just saying that we'll start drama don't show to misunderstand me but some people don't feel comfortable doing that I think this would be nice, wouldn't get too hot. I don't know, just my thoughts. We're on the subject of Dollar Tree sewing projects. This is another one of mine. I buy these washcloths and I sew these tags on them. I have a bunch of the Disney princess ones, but then you get like one of those little um, clips. I can't, I think they sell them at the Dollar Tree. They're like, they're like those ones people hike with and mountain climb with and stuff, but like not as strong, you know, just like small ones. And you clip it to the strap of your purse. And then when you are in a restroom and they're out of paper towels or you just don't want to waste paper towels because, you know, the planet and conservation and stuff like that, um, then you just grab it. It's like hooked on the inside of your purse. I just reach in, pull it out and dry my hands off on it and then stick it back in there. And um, I tried this out for a while, I really like it, so I decided to make some more. Um, so when I found the Anna and Elsa ones, ah, I just used black because it's a ribbon I have ex excess of, and it sticks out from the like bright patterns of where the tag is when I'm trying to hook it on in a hurry. So I decided to share that little project with you too. You basically just take the ribbon, fold it over, sew it across. Um, I sew it over and then I back sew on it and then sew it back over just to make sure that it's really strong. Um, and yeah, that's it. We're trying to get out and take a walk. We're testing out one of my Wish products. Did you rebuckle it? The dogs, I'm sure with any other dog, this would be a piece of cake, but one, we haven't used an amber on harness, or amber, a harness on amber in a really long time. So she's a little too chunky monkey for us to feel good about. So we'd put her backpack on her and strap her in that way. And then Ralph was just a mess to get him to get it on, but you can't see, but they're sitting still. So we're gonna take him on a walk. We're gonna test this out so I can do my wish review video, whatever, um, this week, probably Friday or something. And I'm going to call it a day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Justin, say hi and bye. Hi, bye. Because <laughs> I haven't seen you yet today. So hi, bye. Bye.